world record is what we're going for. I don't know what they're going to do. Last time we checked in with them, they were breaking stuff. They were breaking stuff. stuff. So, so they better have been working because it's now time to break a world record. So yeah. let's send it over to Joe Darwin in the uh, overclocking lounge, which I just invented. So what are we doing over here? Some more liquid nitrogen overclocking, right? Yep. yep. So are you getting more records? Um, yeah, single card 3D Mark 11. 3D Mark 11. What are you running over here right now? Uh, we're running some 3D Mark Vantage now. Um, DirectX 10 benchmark. What do you have the graphics card to overclock to? Um, the 3D Mark 11 record was done at 2040 megahertz. 2040? <laughs> yeah. oh, that's crazy, man. I know. But you know the great thing about uh, the Maxwell, I think, is that even uh, even on air, you're able to clock it to, to like 1500 megahertz or even 1600 megahertz, right? Yeah, yeah. Some cards can do 1600 on air. Good ones. On default cooling, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. So this, uh, so you have to add additional voltage regulators or power to the to the board to en enable to in order to sustain these high clock speeds. Yeah, saying. basically when they like add the extra power board to ha have no limits on the clock overclocking and to reach maximum clocks which actual GPU can do disregarding you know, of what's actual the power solution on the board on the right. reference cards. Wow, very impressive. And why is there sure is a lot of ice on there. Yeah, see, check <laughs> it out. Wow. We're running the VGA card right now at minus 110C and the CPU around minus 75. So Ready? Is the voltage set? Yeah, all the, all the voltage so is set. So you use the, uh, to control the voltage, you use this device here, yeah, EVBot. That's, that's EVBot. This is an X99 motherboard, right? X99 classified four-way. Wow. And we use uh, Intel Core i7-5960 CPU. So what are you clocked on the CPU? Uh, right now we're just testing VGA card and the clock on CPU is like quite mild, it's 5.3 VBRs. So, so, so do you leave all the cores enabled for, for 3D yeah, Mark Vantage? Yeah. We need to have all the cores uh, all the time. So, so 3D Mark Vantage takes good cores. advantage of the multi-threading on the CPU. Yeah, especially <laughs> the CPU <laughs> test, we can get a good performance increase on that. Wow. Is this a GPU temperature? Vantage takes good advantage. Vantage takes good advantage. Yep. So m easy. M negative 108. Wow, that's crazy. Lost it. Still going. Wow. Wow. We are 200 flying. frames per second. <laughs> so you're using two power supplies here. Yep, two 1600 watts. Are you using one for the graphics card and one for the motherboard? Yep, that's correct because we don't want to have any uh, conflicts between the power when like GPU takes too much power and there will be like OCP or some protection kind of when the CPU have not enough power. So we just separated GPU runs on its power supply by its own and then motherboard and like all the peripherals running from the another power supply. Wow. Spill, spill. Yeah, we're live. We're live. We're live. Wow, more on the floor than in the cup. <laughs> wow, it's cold. <laughs> so, what's with all the smash controller pieces over there? Sounds like somebody what, had from the ask. camera. Just <laughs> <laughs> the just the result of Tom Peterson. This looks like this looks like this looks like a, a tap job. So why do you need to heat it up like that? It's too cold. The card won't boot but below a certain temperature, so okay. we use the torch to map gas to quickly heat the pot. So do old cards only boot at a certain temperature, or different cards that react different to different temperatures? Well, you see, this this one this one won't boot if the voltage is too high or if the temperature is too low. About about minus 100, 1.5 volts will get it into Windows, but other than that, it won't go. So it's a very fine balancing act. <laughs> yeah, you cannot be too cold or cannot be too hot. You need to have exi exactly precise temperature and voltages to have the system right. be able to reach the clocks we want to run. Wow. And then like once I get into Windows. So what voltage do you have to run on the GPU to in order to hit two gigahertz? Check it out. Oh, check, check it out. You can see. Yeah, on this on this card we'll particularly use 173, 175 volts. 
and that's that's about enough to get us a fire strike and 11 records which we got before so we are trying to keep the same uh, voltage and push the gpu harder to see if it can run wow two and a half So you missed all the. I missed Tom's all the fun. Smashing fun. Yeah, I missed all the fun here. Dude, he was smashing. I the think we need to find some more stuff around here that we can smash. Smashing <laughs> the table on record runs. It was like on, on edge. System still running though. Well, we were really was worried about the system, uh, how it, how it will work. After all the hammer banging on the table. So there's a lot of ice around, especially around the CPU and around the GPU. Is that kind of a hazard? Uh, with the amount of ice that's on there right now? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> it can be. Um, <laughs> as you can see, we're running <laughs> right. 3D Mark 11 very robustly. Yeah, this, this, I don't know. It's been like this for about three hours. Okay, so here's a question a lot of people ask. She's why still do you, going. Why do you, a lot of people ask this question. Why do you run VGA when you, when you uh, use uh, liquid nitrogen? Why do I? You mean why do I put liquid nitrogen on the graphics no, card? No, why do you, why do you run uh, the VGA connector? Oh, um, well, this is my. It's our dirty little secret. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the the display outputs on this card, starting with Titan, uh, GK one hundred and four. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Basically, they become unusable below minus four fifty. You just get a black screen. But if you use the VGA output, it works. HDMI, DVI don't work. Yeah, just basically all the digital uh, outputs. Like they, uh, have some problem when you have the GPU running like this kind of temperatures minus a hundred or below that. So, but if you use the VGA analog output, then you still can have the display output and run your system fine. Right. You know, I, I always see so it's like not a every, secret anymore, every right? time I post a record or something, and I'm like I'm using the CRT. <laughs> like there's all these there's all these chowderheads like yeah. saying well, the what the hell is like using the VGA it's 2014 for? Yeah. <laughs> What's he using the CRT for? And but you have to. There's no other way. There's you a can reason for everything. Overclock <laughs> on that one too. When you do is this kind of overclocking, like every small single detail is important. Unless if you don't get all the things right, then even small right. thing will Can break the whole crash, session. Right, you're pushing it, you're pushing the system to its absolute edge. So every little thing can uh, make a big difference. Definitely. Copy that. You will be able to hear us. Let's go again. So, you got the voltage set on the car. You ready? Yep. Uh, all good. Let's go. Okay, oh. and she's running. So you have to pour just the right amount of liquid nitrogen into the both of the containers in order to keep it the to ma maintain that fine balancing act. Yep. Precision. That's the key when you're doing extreme overclocking. That screenshot actually. It's. We have about 20 seconds. It's so cast. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Hey, can you give me the USB key? Man? Sure. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up for our segment here. Uh, thank you everyone for watching, and uh, we're going to keep trying to break some records here, and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's getting pretty cold though, so. Well, we got we got a lot of liquid nitrogen left. Okay. And back to the studio. They're like making cookies it's, and stuff on computers. It's like awesome science class over well, there. Well, first off, I love the chutzpah. They were like, "Well, we broke the record, so let's just break it even more." Right? Crack. Yeah, seriously. Let's see how much further it goes, right? Have you ever Take it all the way to plaid, boys. <laughs> <laughs>